go. <laughs> you upload the list. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. Mm. No sideboard. How am I... That was gonna work. I know how this works. Let's find out. No. It's not formatted right. Okay, fine. I have to do it the hard way. All right. Everyone can comment on this after I build it. This is not my deck. I'm just doing it for a viewer. Don't want second sunrises, really? I don't faith rewards, really? I own Riddlesmith. I have to own Riddlesmith. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the first thing. Where is that? I don't know if I could. Well, I guess twelve is enough lands for snow for lands. I think I should play all border posts though. I'm not looking at the chat right now because I need two windows open to do this. We're gonna take the deck as is. And then we're going to figure it out together. I definitely don't have these border posts, I don't think. Oh, I have one. I own one. Why do I own one border post each? I don't own Conjurer's Baubles, really? I have 61 cards. Why is it 61 cards? Wait. Wait, how many time seeds are seen in the deck? Four? Was there intention to have 61 cards, or did they add extra card? You think Trippy Mage is better than Riddlesmith? Yeah, I think pretty. What's this card do? Yeah, we're just gonna play Trippy Mage. Just play a bunch of Trippy. I don't have a sideboard. I need to make a sideboard for the deck real quick after I buy these cards. Hey, where's all the faith rewards?
So I don't understand why people use the site. The site is way faster. But I guess they have to use it for the loan program. And I'm also like rich. I'm like hardware rich, so. I don't know. Can I use the bot? I don't know. I think I already used that bot. Okay, you want runestones? Runestones pretty good. Dispatch, okay. Need one. All right. Soccer foundry. All right. Um, let's see. I don't know when I'd even play with Dr. Foundry. I'm not really sure. Or how many I'd even play. What else you got? You keep typing. Anyone else going to make a suggestion on the sideboard? Go ahead. I'll be right back. Maybe we play like uh, negates or counter spells. Maybe I don't know. Dovin's veto, I guess. Maybe. It provides counter. Oh, metallic rebuke. I think so. I don't know. I think it's legal. I feel like it's legal. Yeah, I can play that. Maybe over the Dovin's Veto. Dovin's Veto seems very hard to cast, though. On his nose of Rebuke. This thing really leans really hard in Astral Life. <laughs> okay. No, we have all these border posts. Never mind. Actually, the mail looks pretty decent. Yeah, I can play Rebuke. Let's try, let's try Rebuke. Screw it. I don't own any Rebukes. Jesus. I want cards to buy. I could maybe mix like veto and rebuke. One or two? Oh, one or two. I'll put like four in. I'll put like two. I'll go back to two. I can't believe I don't metallic rebukes. Just mm, one. Steel sabotage? I guess Steel Sabotage bounces an artifact. Yeah, we need something to kill artifacts, right? 
Because if they like mess up our the base rewards plan, it's pretty bad. Wait, isn't this bad with face reward? We can't really face reward stuff with this in play. I think I can play... I think I can play that. Here, I'll, I'll do you a favor. We'll, we'll try this. We'll just get a little weird. We'll get a little weird with it. Play like four of these. Sideboard, of course. Um, and then we'll play a Spyglass for stuff. To name against other spell bombs. <laughs> Who knows? Um. All right, I just gotta run it and figure it out. Just gotta run it for now. Um, let me restart my game to Geo real quick. We'll come right back. I haven't taken any commercial breaks yet, but it's fine. All right, we're gonna see if time Steve is worth it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Now we're here. All right. This guy's still up. We're playing him. Let's do it. I, we were just... Brad, we are just looking at, like, lists. Like, I was looking at that top, top eight list, the Time Team Open Vaults list, from some PTQ way back. And now we're here. We'll play, like, one or two matches, and I might call it, because I'm kind of hungry. Oh, double Time Steve. But I think I have to start with Border Post. I'm going to keep... Wait, I, I can't make black mana. Ah, I should be fine. Pawn is mulliganing. Uh. It's that song we heard. <laughs> at the arena for no reason. <laughs> okay. Birds. Good start. Ooh, Astrolite's a good draw. That makes time seed mana. There's another time sieve. Wow, I have so many time sieves to sack to my time sieve. Okay, that's pretty big. Team of Ascendancy, pretty big deal. They used to be the scariest card. Um... Oh, Wellspring, I think. Okay, ooh, found a Tribute Mage. I already found the Time Seeds, though. <laughs> 
I can't. I can only play one time, Steve, at a time. I don't know if it's worth it to go for it now. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going for. But yeah, I can just get more wellsprings, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna get another wellspring. All right, knuckle played the classic. Yeah, I just need to keep drawing cards, I guess. Dang, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's why I got this bar. All right, traverse just gets a land. No, um, delirium yet. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just go get. I'll get a wellspring. Wait, is there anything else I can get here other than not this wellspring? <laughs> Definitely blocking and then conjures bobbling to draw a card. Just need to churn, 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 churn. Let's say FTK me here. All right, five mana, glory bringer, even better. <laughs> so I kind of need to kill here <laughs> or something. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I think I might be really dead. Yeah, but I don't even have like a thing. I think I need to draw into a thing. This is thing exerted, so okay. Mm. Great. Um. All right, so I just can't. This is really bad. This is really bad. <laughs> There's no like fogs in this deck. I think I'm supposed to need like a fog or something. <laughs> I drew a lot of lands. I think. I think I could play like even more Bodor posts with less lands. To be completely honest with you. Wait, they're gonna pump to kill me. Okay, they're going to activate it once a turn. Alright. They went back and forth here. If they have a burn spell, I die. Crater's Claws or something. That's kind of a classic. I'm not dead. Great. Nope. Nope. Crater's Claws. Getting Crater's Claws. Burst Lightning Kicker. Good enough. Okay. Alright, um, I like Dispatch. I don't mind Doctor Foundry, but I don't know if that's good enough. Maybe I'll play just Rebukes. I don't think I'll play around that. Hmm. I can see the cheap artifacts for this. I could cut. I could just get cut time C. I can just tutor for them. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to cut. <laughs> I'm just looking at this like, what the hell do I cut here? Do I even bring these in? Yeah, I think it's like the whole point of the deck, so I need to keep them here. 
How am I winning? The problem is I don't know how I'm supposed to win the game. Thought cast and a bobble? Okay, you're the boss. What did they cut? I cut a mage. Uh. Alright. Um, sure. I guess I could try this. Oh! Yeah, for... Oh! Oh, that's right. That's, that's supposed to be the winning condition. I forgot. <laughs> Alright, we'll do it the hard way. It's supposed to be mirrored and besieged. The type of the vault's legal. Actually, that is legal too. That actually is also legal. Why am I playing that? <laughs> All right. This is only just this is just phase one. It's just phase one. Okay. Let's. We got revisions. Okay. It's only Act One here. Mm. Don't need more lands. I oh, thought we need black sources eventually. Let's scry here. Okay, I like ice tunnel. We can bottom that. All right, we're about to like go. We're about to go inside the vault here and just like remove a lot of stuff. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited about taking out half these cards. Yeah, that's why we evolve. We're just going to evolve and get better. That's a, that's the best part of a deck building. You just evolve. You evolve from what you started from. I'm about to start popping these which which is well springs. Ooh, rebuke. Okay, bottom. So we can top that for now. It's on cast. Okay, okay. The draw engine is so real. You can just bounce it, bring it back. If they wanted to. Okay. The review might be a bit slow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop one of these to draw two cards, I think. I'm gonna counter the next thing that happens here. Rebuked, sir. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> How could you? Okay, it's a lot of lands. Okay, we're gonna we're totally just gonna edit this. I think I just play all border posts. I think I'll be okay. I feel like I'm drawing a lot of lands. I think I'm gonna pop this one. Wait, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay. Act two. <laughs> we can't play dual lands. Step one. Cannot play dual lands. They're not very good with the post, because I'm going to play all posts in a second. Clear. 
<laughs> Retrofitter foundries? Like, in my life? Or... Yeah, I'm gonna play, like, 12 basics. Like, in general? Or, like... I don't... I don't have any. In real life, no. Like, these count as lands, right? Can I just, like, count those as lands? Um, I need to fit the wind condition in. as a disciple. But figure out where to put it. This is pretty good. So I want, like, stuff like this all the time. Or stuff that comes back that draws cards. We can play just, you can play one bobble just to draw... Witching Wells are, like, not bad, I guess. Maybe I just got Thoughtcast? Dance of the Mance? Oh, yeah, someone did suggest that. Let's try that. I might just got Thoughtcast. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna keep one bobble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm gonna cut the Thoughtcast, I think, to fit the win condition in. Here, I'll do like this. I'll do three Disciple, one Mirror and Besiege, and we'll see, figure out which one's better. I don't own any of these, really. So I have like, no way dance is better than reward. Fight, fight, fight. Everyone fight. Fight, fight, fight. It kind of depends if we're not playing like the Vault or not. in an eggs deck. Well, I mean, you just... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm just here. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel, really. Kind of need a stall tactic. Kind of need to stall the game, I think. Dispatch is main. They're, I think they're really hard to activate. Also, it's just like, I feel like we don't have enough time. I feel like there's not enough time. Then you have to cut, like, one of these artifacts, which is probably Witching Well. It's kind of hard to get the five artifacts. Well, I guess they have these. If there is a kill condition I can tutor with Tribute Mage, that'd be pretty nice. Can I play Howling Mine in this list? Why can't I play Howling Mine? I almost feel like Howling Mine is better than like Terrarian. Tezzeret? Which Tezzeret? Oh, wait, then. Tezzeret's a schemer? Tribute HO good? Okay, I believe that. Is this card even good? Plus one. Create a colors artifact. So it makes Lotus Petals. Kills things. Or turns everything... It, it... Ticks up. Then ultimate wins. Okay, I can try a couple. No, it does not win. Feels oh wait, what? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna play Antiquities War. Howling Mine. I don't like Terrarian. I'm gonna say that right now. I don't like Terrarian. I like Prism. So the man is a bit off. The man. The man is a bit ridiculous. I think right now. 
Oh God, my card. Yeah, the problem is that, like, I don't know. I think there's a lot of one man artifacts. These are like one man artifacts, too, if you think about it. So, technically, there's like. Let's just move this over here. There's like so many one man artifacts. This is like the curve, and this is like the kill conditions. I want to try Howling Mine. Actually, I do want to try Howling Mine for the science. I own Howling Mines. Look at that. I have one slot. Mana seemed like a problem, so adding Prisms will help that. Drawing cards seemed like a problem, so Howling Mine will help that. Don't play Howling Mine. Cut two mines. Antiquities War. That was the card I wanted to play. Thank you. I'll play both. How about that? Honestly, probably better than Mirrored and Besieged. I think it's actually better than Mirrored and Besieged, to be honest with you. So we'll just cut that. We're playing all the cards. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go buy some balls. Sahili? That makes artifacts. That does make artifacts. I mean, time save is slow, right? Do you think comes with turn four? Wow. It's ambitious. Um, <laughs> all right, we have another test subject. We're just gonna start with this and figure it out from there. So he is a nice idea. We'll put that in the mine bank. We'll just start with this and see where we're at. Maybe it doesn't quite fit. True. <laughs> The problem is we need a bunch of basics, and we need, like, black mana. And there's no, like... I'm gonna keep this hand. Yeah, it should be chill. It should be chill. It should be chill. <laughs> and, like, four bur half the border posts make, um, bl black. A lot of them make blue. Yeah, this is chill. I just hope our opponent doesn't attack really quickly. Oh, you're not wrong. I can play a Swamp or two. My opponent's not here. Oh, they're, they started. Go, go, Border Posts! Really need a two-mana thing. Oh, Shambling Vent? I love the Shambling Vent. Alright, please let me go. Oh, nice. Two mana thing. Ooh, found the black mana. Perfect.
I could start Antiquities Warring and just killing my opponent soon. How many more games? I mean, you can win Antiquities War versus Time Sea. Okay, they're Esper stuff. Ooh, Witching Well. Love Witching Well. Okay, draw step. There's a draw step stop. I love it. This this I think it's about to pop off. Hmm. I like all of this. I just run out the disciple. <laughs> Pun hasn't really done anything. Hmm. Kind of want the hauling mind to resolve more than the disciple. I'm gonna take the second planes. I don't have a second place. Uh, okay. Let's we're not the disciple. They might counter it or kill it. Who knows? Exclude. Okay, they're playing the Esper deck. Cool. I get to play Howling Mine now. Let the games begin! Letting my control deck draw more cards. Pretty great. Oh, what is that? What is that? Ooh, found the time sieve. Um, I don't know what I really want to resolve here. Time sieve or antiquity score? Something you encountered. I have more time sieves. Co antiquities. Yeah, that's just gonna get. I'm never gonna resolve it at any point. But this is. I mean, this is like threatens lethal. They they really can't let it resolve. Or can they? Let me just. Start eating this candy bar. Or not a candy, it's a protein bar. It's just chocolate covered for whatever reason. It's another exclude. Syncopate for two. It absolutely is a problem, and I agree with that. Huge problem. Big problem. So I have to like bait it with something. Definitely gonna have to bait it. The Howling Mine is not helping me either. It's not really helping my cause. Mm, I like all of this. Yeah, I mean that was my plan, just to play two two face rewards. <laughs> I don't have to just run up the time sieve. But what else can I do against this counter spell deck?
That's for a charm. Probably be a discard. They really can't let this resolve, right? I don't know. I still need to find like a face reward. Two of them, actually. Oh god, they let it resolve. What do we do? What do I 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 do? What do we do? What do I do? Do I know I'm passing? Now what? Do I just draw cards off the Witching Well, I guess? I'm about to, like, pop one of these Witching Wells for sure. So I need to find at least two Second Sunrises or something. You know what the bad part about Second Sunrise is? Is that it gets back their Spell Bomb. Real talk. So I need a Faith Reward and a Spell and, and a thing. Second Sunrise is for each player, which is really annoying. Okay, I found another Howling Mine. Kind of down. Kind of down to Howling Mine. Keep Howling Mining. Alright. Ooh, I found it. I'm going to make more mana. I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff. I don't want to go off yet. I just want to draw more cards. I might deck them. Ah, they're gonna counterspell that. It's funny. Don't get Esper Charmed. I might. I mean, in response to Esper Charmed, just pop the, the well, right? I'll just pop the well in response. Kind of like a natural counter. Oh, she would bunch up the, the four posts. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I do be, I do be can tripping a lot. Hmm. <laughs> There's a disciple. There's a bobble too. Okay, teachings. What could they get here? I'd probably get um Lockmere Serpent, if I had to guess. And if they just tap over Lockmere Serpent, I'd probably just like draw a bunch of I don't know. They'll do that on my end stuff. What are we talking about? They'll never tap out. This is the problem. They're never gonna tap out. Lockmere Serpent. Hey, I guessed.
Sure. Draw two more cards. Draw the things. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna start with this. I think I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Sure. Um, one, two, uh, two. The fuck? Mm. Hmm. This is the problem. So, no matter what, this is, pr I mean, why not try to resolve the second sun, right? Do I? I'm just gonna get the things back. I wanted to just draw maximum cards. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. The problem is they're going to get this back no matter what. And that's like where I'm at. Alright, we'll just do this. So I can't do it again? I mean, I'll take an extra turn and then do the next turn. Oh my god. Okay, so... Do I just second sunrise again? And then they get it back and they nuke it again? Re yeah, it's just a reward here. If they have Counterspell here, it's going to be really bad. This is fine? How is this fine? I lost like five cantrips. I do have five more. That's true. This is hard. <laughs> This is hard. Um, sure, I guess. Wait, they get the... No, this is wrong. Because they get their spell bomb back. They're just going to spell bomb me again. No, this is wrong. This says each player. <laughs> this is the bad part. This is where... <laughs> it's a freaking spell bomb. I can't... They just get it back. I don't know. I told you reward for yeah. So now I just have to do this. I'm just do it. Screw it. I can't let lose my value. I cannot lose my value here. <laughs> they have a negate? Are you gonna like Dobin's veto me? Are you kidding? Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna draw. I drew another. Why did I draw another sunrise? Um. Okay, well they're tapped out, so I can just kind of go ham, I guess. Is is bobble? I guess I get like bobble. Yeah. Wait, don't I get my bobble exiled though?
Oh, I have to be careful. I cannot tap my white sources here. Um... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like doing things. I'm just doing things, guys. Um, do I just nuke a bunch of mana sources? I don't think I can like. Oh, the prism. But, like, the sunrise is so bad. The sunrise is, like, so actively bad against... Or good... Ugh. It's like Mandex Spellbomb. What am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> Gives to get it back every time. I don't even, I even play the land. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just kind of like playing cards. And yeah, it says you're a graveyard. Mm. Did you do the time seed? I don't even black black mana because I sacrificed all of it. I can't beat the spell bomb without faith reward. I kind of messed up. All right, all right. Hey, only have oh, I have steel sabotage on my sideboard. Nice. <laughs> uh, can I just take out the second sunrises? Is that like enough? That seems really bad against an active spell bomb. So how do I cut? I just deck myself. I like the idea of it. I know with the cut. <laughs> like, this is what I'm bringing it in. The sabotages. The bounce. Stupid artifact. Spyglass. And some random counter magic. Um. The problem with, like, this deck is that I need something to kill my opponent with. Howling Mine? That might seem great there. Probably not. Probably not good to let my opponent draw a bunch of cards. So true. I think I can cut these. Mm. I got like a prism. Screw it. Alright. Alright, let's try this. Mm. Sure, I guess. How did that win anything back in the day? I can't figure it out. <laughs> I am just bad. Am I just bad? Okay. I did that wrong. I am bad. 
This was a scry first. Before he pointed out. I can answer charm so hard here. Oh, reshape is legal. You're right. <laughs> I was playing um Chibi Mage for a bit. Can you... Reshape can find Spyglass. So you need to find a Time Sieve. I'll pop one of these. Ooh. Got him. Um... Yeah, I, I don't... I don't mind that idea either. I'm gonna just jam it. I feel like I have, like, too many, like, cantrip things and enough things to kill my opponent. I don't know. I I, I think the cantripping is fine. But I feel like I have, like, very few ways of killing my opponent. <laughs> I guess the other problem is that, like, a lot of people are just playing, like, Artifact or Graveyard Hate. Yeah, I need payoff. I agree. I want payoff. Ooh, the pause there. Look at this. I would just sit there and do nothing. It's insane. They're just going to sit there and do nothing. <laughs> so this a decree? Okay. I guess the other problem is that, like, I guess... So I guess, like, Antiquity's War probably needs to be, like, a three or four of... Because that's a really good win condition. Um, I'm not sure about the Disciple, the more I look at it. Right? Because, like... I mean, they're both kind of, like, equally interesting. It was, like, kind of do the same thing. If I had the thing is, if I could find an artifact, why not counter spell them? I completely forgot. <laughs> Everyone, get off me! Get off my back! <laughs> I was looking at time sieve decks in the in the side, and I was thinking about it.
I, need, I just need to find a time sieve. How does that? How do these other decks need to find time sieve? <laughs> I can say a tether at the seekers. I think we're just gonna play a trippy mage again. We'll go to revision three. Search for knowledge, it's not bad. Oh, get bounced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can even seal sabotage my own artifacts to draw cards. Return this return the wellspring. Dang. Rip. This gentleman. Okay. I have, I have more ideas. Just thinking it over. I think I have more ideas. No one's gonna like them. I think, and this is going to sound crazy, we don't need eight sunrises. I don't think, I think like the fates of orders are, are fine. The second sunrises are really bad against a lot of people playing spell bombs. <laughs> okay, wait. I have to go off now. I can't. It's freaking spell. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with this. <laughs> okay. There might be seen not enough room to keep doing all the same thing, so maybe not. Maybe I need, like, all of them. But I feel like everyone is going to just, like, play spell bombs. So I need a plan against that. That's step one. I don't like these. I don't like these either. Uh, I'm, like, indifferent on this. I'm indifferent on this. I haven't decided yet. I play Wraths. <laughs> Cyber into Colossus. I should have just made that Colossus, honestly. <laughs> but I just made that Colossus. You know what's great with infinite turns? If I just play a Col if I attack with the Colossus every turn. <laughs> That was the other one condition. I'm just main deck piece. Makes no sense, but I don't know. It actually, it's not bad with Fates Reward. There's some like nonsense that could happen, I think. There's just really not a lot going on in the middle game that I'm not, like, pleased with. I think tutors are probably better than Howling Mine. Oh, yeah, the Hermit decks. Well, I have a bunch of these. We can just do a bunch of this. Spyglass and this. This is, like, this covers a lot of bases. I... I, I also think it's hard to get... I think by the time you want to dispatch something, it's going to be like turn three, and it's going to be a little too late. I want like counter spells, actually. I don't want all of these. Um, I probably just want a bunch of like Dovin's Vetoes. Um. Tribute Mage or Reshape? Is, re is Reshape an instant? Yeah, that's another thing I thought about. Reshape's a sorcery? I'm going back to Tribute Mage. <laughs> I'm not going to play Howling Mine. I think it's a. I think it was a bit much. 
I kind of want to play three Antiquities Wars. I don't know where to fit that, though. Probably like this. Nope, I only have... I only own two of these. Wait a minute. Sir, what's the record? Oh, and two. Expanses. <laughs> Am I playing black then? <laughs> It's a lot of blue in this deck. <laughs> Just noticed that. Eight expanses. Honestly, I thought the mana was fine without adding Evolving Wilds. I thought between like this and this and this, I think I mana was fine. I'm not gonna add Evolving Wilds. I'm I'm gonna keep the mana as it was. I honestly thought it was pretty fine. I don't think I had like a lot of problems. I'm really suspect about this card. I'm kind of like indifferent on this card. I think honestly, if I'm in, I'm at a point where I'm at cl playing Colossus, I'm or I'm sorry, playing Sunrise, I'm gonna win the game. You don't think <laughs> it's boring? <laughs> How am I supposed to win the game then? Antiquities War Ultimate. Seems very narrow. Oh, I, wait. How many am I supposed to buy these? I thought I bought four. Can I buy more? Alright, fine. I still don't think Miramis Siege is a good card, but... <laughs> 15 artifacts?! Honestly, if I'm gonna play this, it's gonna be a 2 of, because I need to, I think I need both halves at some point. <laughs> I might need both halves. Okay, how about this? Three war, two besieged, one disciple. We're all happy, right? Are we all happy? Or at least the ways are gonna win. And everyone's happy. I think the mana again, well, I guess I was fine. Especially with all this nonsense. Oh. See what these random people will want to play. It can't be a view people. It has to be someone new. Only one of these people wants to play. I'll be in rematch soon. It was late. This was nonsense looking deck. It's better than the first version where I just, like, didn't have a win condition. Yeah, the problem is you have to play, like, four of them, I guess. I don't know. It, it, it turns off, like, less 
astrolabe stuff because there's only like one drop to want to start with. You're probably right, but I don't, I don't know. I might just jump into a league with this because it might be better to test in the league. Or I might just stop. I'll do one more. I'll do at least one more game. So I think, I think the changes have been pretty nice. What's my sideboard again? A bunch of wraths, and a bunch of counter spells, and a bunch of stuff to fight the graveyard. Or anyone can join, maybe. <laughs> Need someone to play me. I could wait. What am I play tomorrow is the real question. Not not time Z. Why just play Colossus and just oh play this Colossus deck? With Crab Crest Lake. The only reason I'm playing this because I can't beat. I was thinking about it the other day. It's like I cannot. For the life of me. Beat, um, I can't beat Price of Progress, so my plan was to play Nevermore, <laughs> or I could play Rune Halo too, as well. It's the same thing, right? They're like the same card, right? Is one better than the other? I guess one comes out on turn two. Hmm. Let me write some rain halos real quick. <laughs> what do I just play? Wait, what's what's better? Four rune halo or four nevermore? That's true. Like rune halo it is. Seven cents. I only have 138 tickets now. What the heck? What the heck? Bleeding. Just bleeding tickets. Someone ever gave me? No? It shouldn't be relevant. Especially against Mono Red, which is mostly what the deck is, which is supposed to be against. The problem is, it's like, Nevermore, Nevermore can stop things like Dread Return, or like, cards, I don't know. This is more against, like, cards that can't beat, like Price of Progress. I can beat, I could probably beat a Dread Return, though, honestly. Yeah, I think Halo's better overall. <laughs> yeah, I have already have six pieces of Graveyard Hate. Also, I can just kill a, a Druid. Main deck Orbs of Warding against freaking... This is against Cycling. This is particularly against Cycling. That's where it's at, guys. Main deck Orbs of Warding. <laughs> That's where it's at. <laughs> this deck is such a pile. I'm playing Crabcrest Lake. That's how you know. That's how you know it's real. I refuse to play 8 tap lands in this deck. I refuse to play 8 tap lands. Also playing Goofy Chromatic Lantern. Oh shoot. Is this the right list? I don't know what's happening. Oh. 
Um, I can play the blue white, the blue white stifle knot deck. It's getting a little better. Um, I I decided to cut Delvers and play Judges Familiar instead. I don't know if that's right, but I think Delver is just a really not great card sometimes. <laughs> I think Judge's Familiar is way better at protecting my threats in a weird way. It's just like another like four spike that just hangs out and attacks for one. I put Dizzy's Belt in the deck because, you know, it's just me. It finds Dreadnoughts or Joseph's Familiars. I should probably play like four spell bombs. Something. This is against the reanimator decks. So I'm never going to see the turn one reanimator. This spell is a game winning, a tournament winning card. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to play snapback. I'm not going to fear a reanimator. If I just lose the reanimator, I'm going to lose the reanimator. They beat me on turn one, so be it. I'm just going to let it happen. Quite honestly, I'm just going to let it happen. No, like, a lot of times in, in a in a bind, like, when you have a bunch of trick binds and hushwing grips, you don't have a 12-12, a, a you just go find it. That's the point. I probably made, like, the longest dissertation about Dizzy Spell that's ever been made in my, um, PD500 deck tech. Excuse me. Where is it? Watch that. It's my entire thoughts on that archetype. It's very correct because I won. That's that's the real that's the real thing. You can just skip to the part where I think Dizzy Spell is great. I think someone joined my game. Okay. Um, good start. Um. Um, they're a fan. I'm gonna go to five. Sure, I can keep this hand. This hand's great. Um, It's probably wrong. Um, Ice tunnel, great. Um, prism. Ooh, found the time steam already. What do I should be made for? I guess I should reach for like Acre Wellspring. Well, they get to counter, I guess. What a jam. They have to have a counter slot right here. I will see your bluff. All right. I got called. <laughs> now I find Acre Wellspring. Is there just playing Esper decks? What is this? Is this my deck? This cannot be my Delver deck. I cannot lose my own deck. I think I play Lingering. Okay, they vindicated my border post. It's rude. Absolutely rude. Um, I found another Time Sieve. Okay, they're not playing my deck. Are they? Is this another? Why does everyone play Esper decks? What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the 
Let's just gonna keep jamming. Okay, that one resolved. All right, I'm gonna tribute mage for I guess an thicker wellspring. Just continue to tap out or the the cantrip train. I I don't have five mana yet. Um, I need a bunch of mana. Quicken, quicken vindicate. Wait 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dirty rats. <laughs> I found the bobble. Um, I don't know. The dream color is not cool. <laughs> Cause I was, I was gonna sack it to draw like take a turn, I think. But I think that's probably like, wrong. That's probably just wrong there. I can't like quintuple vindicate myself. <laughs> so it's on mold of five. I mean my board is impressive for a mold of five. They burst straw. Granted. They get if they get a counter spell, I'm gonna lose it. They're probably gonna find Dovin's veto. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um Jam, I guess. Man. Why is everyone playing Esper decks? Can we talk about that? Why is everyone playing these random Esper decks? <laughs> okay, I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Oh, good. Um. Let's give me some more options. Okay. Um. I could draw three cards. Yeah, I can like bobble too. I don't want to use the bobble yet. Tricky, you tricky person, you. I still need to find. I guess I still need. I still need to find a freaking time sieve. So next turn, I have to just try to do. Try to find a time sieve. I guess. I want to save it to the very last thing, though, right? Don't I want to just use it to second sunrise a bunch? Yeah, I'm surprised they just do it on their turn so they could draw out to get more uh, dream color triggers. The old one four. Or that could be. 
Hmm. You know, I have like I don't really have a lot of lands. I'm gonna start with the uh, bobble here. Uh. Yeah, this is going great. <laughs> I, I this deck seems to have like less counter spells and more vindicates, so I feel a little better about this matchup. <laughs> I guess. Um, I'm just gonna expect that they're gonna play spell bombs on me, so I'm just gonna bring in all that. Hmm. Man, it might get a little worse, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. To me, it's just not bad. It's hard. Yeah. I don't think... I, I think you might be right. I'm gonna, I'll go to two mages. Screw it. I could mix them up. I could play like two and two. So figure that out. Friend of mine posted a picture of their dog. <laughs> Just a really funny picture. <laughs> Look at this dog. <laughs> Look at this dog real quick. <laughs> Look at this like goofy. <laughs> Alright. That's how I feel about this deck. Um <laughs> Ooh, um. I kinda wanna keep. I don't know why. No, I'm gonna mulligan. I need like a border post or something. That's better. The sand's way better. Mm. This is fine. Ashley cry for. I don't know. I just want more lands. I do, okay, upsides of this deck. This deck churns. This deck loves churning. This deck churns, man. I'm not gonna lie, this deck kind of churns. That that part's fun. I'm gonna go get Time Seed now. Maybe not, I don't know. Well, I'll get Time Seed. Right. Also, Trailblazer Mage helps with the sideboard too, because they can get. I mean, I get that with the reason. Oh, look at that! They got the tech against it. It was bored in darkness. Man, that would be great right now. It's a Colossus. <laughs> Colossus have been sick. <laughs> Attacking for two. Also, Tribute Mage attacks for two. Another thing to think about. Oh, the Spyglass. Okay, I'm going to just jam a Spyglass here. Can we don't win the tribute mage? 
Oh my gosh. Um Oh my god. I have to wait for this counter spell here. So I just have to wait for them to tap out for a Dream Trawler, right? Alright, quick in. They're gonna get so... Hmm. Boom. Boom. Value. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Take that! We're getting better. All right, getting better. Spyglass you. I spy. Sure. Um. I'm gonna resolve. I'm gonna take this opportunity to resolve the time seed. I could have actually drawn a card, like another land or something. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I'm short like two mana. Okay, they're not even playing the Dream Trawler. They're gonna think about it. Look at look at this thing. It's gotten like six damage, and you better play this Dream Trawler. Yeah, that's right. You gotta block. I just have my mana wrong, but I think I have like um need to actually scry for lands. Border post kinda works. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess at the bottom of these. Border post is a land, but it comes to play tapped. The problem is that like Okay, so let's assume they're just going to play another Dream Trawler next turn, and they think they're safe against the Spell Bomb. Uh. I'm going to assume they're going to tap out again. All of this. Uh -huh. Why don't you just tap out? Like a great person. Okay. Little Vananbo there. I don't like that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just thinking if I want to like draw, take an extra turn. This is really bad, because, like, I'm basically sacking lands to do this. But if I don't, like, do anything, I think I just die. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much, like, dead.
Like, it's, it's hard to, like, not... I can't really, like, sack all my, air quotes, lands. And I'm never going to resolve this because of the spell bomb. Oh, I guess I could do that. Okay. Um, uh, all right, whatever. Alright. I can't just be- apparently I just can't be a spell bomb. I don't know. Like, someone plays a spell bomb and I just lose. <laughs> I think I just, like, lose the game. Oh my god, what's happening? I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I just, like, they just play a spell bomb and then I just die. So we made expel them, the spell bomb, their spell bomb. I want a main deck sorcerer spyglass. <laughs> oh, you're saying well, you you isn't the control player. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I think it's really. Yeah, I feel like I should probably do that. <laughs> but I, I don't know, everything seems really tight. Yeah, I, I don't really like main next bubble on our end. Yeah, one main, what, what do I cut? I think everything's like really... I would have to cut like a Tribute Mage itself, or like a Besieged. I don't mind cutting a Besieged, honestly. I like the velocity was a little bit lower too without the Holly Mines, but I really don't know how it's gonna play out. Cause I could do like this, and then I can move one here. It's true. I'll just play one. Because I think Antiquity's War is really the main the main thing of killing. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it. And, like, if I play one, I can only play the Phyrexian side of it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to put 15 artifacts in my graveyard. But this I win the game, so. Alright, I'll try one more. Or I was about to say, I'll keep playing until I lose. Or until I win. But I could be here for eight hours. So I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Yeah. I could use the mirror plan. Who knows? If I stay here until I win, I could be here for... It's it's already been a f almost six hour stream. I could be here for another three hours. <laughs> Trying to figure this out for no reason. If I, if I make one win... I, I haven't won a single game. Let's, let's be real. I haven't won a single game yet. Well, the first game... The first match, I didn't have a win condition. So, I forgot.
the second game, I played against Esper. And the third game, I played against Esper. So. So I don't know. Oh yeah, this was another rendition of the, the Simic Post list that I almost played. Because I was having a lot of problems with uh, aggro decks. So I put Whip of Erebus in the deck, and I was like, oh wait, if I have Whip, then I can play Mastermind's Acquisition. And it got it got really weird from there. It, like I started playing Memora Scythe and like, Crippling Fears. <laughs> I did not know where I was do going with this. I decided not to play it. But, I mean, the concept was the same. It's the fact that you have land or waste, so you have free black sources, and you still have the Signets and the Talismans. But, like, double black is really hard. However, when you have Colossus plus Whip of Erebos, it's pretty good. Because you just gain a bunch of life all the time. It literally just says Artifact that says Creature Steps Lifelink. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a fun list. I wish the hacking list was good. It's hard. It's too hard to play. I actually think it could be kind of good, but I think it's actually way too hard to play. Or I'm just doing it wrong. I will say that this card is actually kind of broken, and it's really annoying. Because you could actually draw your deck with this. Because you can, when you have like, um, when you have Automaton, Hacken, Basal Sliver, you basically make infinite mana. And you have infinite de death triggers. So, but you have to do it one at a time. And th th this, will, this will count for you how many times you've killed a creature. But it takes forever. It actually just takes forever. But you get to draw your deck and you have infinite mana. So, it's kind of worth it. Like, if this, was, if this was like a... If we played like Paper Penny Dreadful, it would be so easy to like say. It's like, alright, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do it like infinite amount of times and I'm going to draw my deck. Or I'm going to count my deck. I'm going to draw that many cards. I'm going to attack. And then you would win the game. But this deck is impossible to play on MDGO, I think. But Standard Bear is really good as a knight. This was the first deck tech of the season. I'm right here with the random manner. Hmm. I don't really mess with anything here. But the idea is really nice. I do like the idea of this deck. And then you can try to just pump out the quickest Siren saying that you can. Either by turn one with Dark Ritual, Future of Reanimate, or Shriekborn, whatever. Or turn two, Dark Ritual, Seeding Song, <laughs> Sire. <laughs> Dark Ritual, Seeding Song, Sire is the funniest way to cast a six drop on turn two. It's actually hilarious. But you need, like, the black mana and the red mana all at once. I think someone joined my match. Alright. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's actually not bad. I got a little bit of everything. Is the, the real question is, will my opponent play Esper? Is my opponent playing an Esper deck? So think we rise. Yes, yeah, so we're playing red. That 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 confirms that it's not Esper. I'm also playing four color Esper. Esper Red. I can't wait for him to play Esper Red or something like that. It's a border post. Yeah, I know. Wow. Hell yeah. Yeah! We're Ash Zelding! Yeah! Normal magic. Yay! <laughs> kind of wish I had had to stop the founders now. <laughs> mm. 
I could draw another border pose. That's why I'm going to do this one over the two drop. We did it. You know what's really easy to beat on a red? It's Colossus. A Colossus would be really good. <laughs> This game might be get great, honestly, all of a sudden. Alright, Stormblood combo. Um I have the Colossus too, but apparently it's too boring. It's just too resident sleeper. Oh wait, no, I can make mana. I can make snow mana. Never mind, I'm just kidding. Let's make snow mana, I forgot. Alright. At one point do I go off? I mean I have like two turns, I guess. I have to play like time Steve and another random thing. I mean, yeah, right? True. True W. Okay. I could be dead next turn. Um, I have four mana. How does it go off? I don't have enough mana for like. Yeah, I should really deceive last turn. All right, let's just let's just hope that my opponent. My round red opponent doesn't have a burn spell in their hand or two burn spells. I could just like give up everything to draw. One, two, three, four. I only draw two cards. That wouldn't really do anything. All right, pray, prage, 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 prage. I really wanted a freaking Chandra's Phoenix. I've never in my life wanted to see a Chandra's Phoenix. Rage. Alright. Aww. Aww. He did the thing. I know. Just clean. Should have gone for it. What do I do there, though? How do I supposed to, like, build up another five artifacts? I was thinking about it. I was like, but how am I supposed to, like, build up to it? I know. I also should have slid to see before. Also very true. All true statements. From the peanut gallery. But I agree. I actually agree with most of them. Spyglass can go out. Unless they play Spellbomb. Oh, what are the chances they're playing Spellbomb? I'm going to hope they don't play Spell Bomb. No, you know what? I'm going to still hedge my bets. We'll do this. No, we don't have the deck works. But I have four mana. <laughs> we all understand how the deck works. I think we're all in agreement there. Okay. This hand... Hand. Well, <laughs> just gonna roll with it. Yes. yes, good start. I'm gonna just make artifacts with this. Okay, take a war. Love it. I love how I'm going to go Mirin, and then I don't have any artifacts in my hand. But it's going to block forever.
Mirin. 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 We got a reader. What does Ash sell it? Hmm. Probably should play the Antiquities War. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get Acre Wellspring. I don't think it's time. I'm gonna play the Disciple of the Vault. This thing chumps. This thing stays around. I block. See, I can't block the other guy because he's a human. I block. Domed? Double domed? Okay. Good start. There's the two guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. Next turn is next turn is go time. By the way, well, to get double chain lightning again. <laughs> I should have attacked. I forgot to attack. I actually forgot to attack there. Take a turn now. No. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Should have saved. This is hindsight talk. This is hindsight talk. This is actually hindsight talk. <laughs> if I live this next turn, I just like go off completely. <laughs> I get no value out of like. How much value am I getting out of this? I like get no value out of this. I don't know. We're gonna play the same deck again? I want a rematch. I assume they're still playing the teamer deck. No, I want a rematch. <laughs> the value of not. Also, thanks for the follow. Uh, Shadowless, I appreciate that. I want to rematch. I want to rematch that guy. We have win cons now. Straight keep. They had triple chain lightning. What do you want me to do? They had triple chain lightning. <laughs> Like, what am I supposed to do against that? I have to, like, hope for the best. <laughs> we have played Paper PD before. We played Paper PD with, um, the one and only, um, Saffron Olive. <laughs> we tried to get him to play. We, we tried to get him to play this format. It didn't really work out. <laughs> Our decks costed, like, less than 30, 20 bucks, so it's really cool. Ooh, I drew a Plains. But yeah, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. There's plenty of experienced people here in Karate Pond who made me play this deck. First. I thought that the, I, I thought the pass was fine. That's why I did it. That's why I did it. <laughs> it's the same way. If all, I mean, you just buy the cards and you play. <laughs>
you could you follow the same rules of the format. You just have to buy the cards. I think that's what I don't know if that's what you meant. Why I'm absolutely playing this time seed, by the way. Yeah, I mean that's what we did. <laughs> You can do it with proxies. I think, yeah, I mean, it's a casual format, so you can just print your own proxies. Soft stub would be insane. Okay. Am I, am I doing this next turn? Can I go off next turn? Wait, 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 wait. Can I go off next turn? Yes or no? No, I can't. I have three man in play. Sure. Wait, if I draw a border post, I can go off, right? No way, I can just do this. Right? Yeah, I'm going off. Oh, we're going off, baby. Um... We're doing it! This is the first time I've actually... Cats yeah, is... Okay, draw a card. Uh, did I play land? I don't remember. Gotta yield these triggers. Okay, did I play land? Um... Oh, we're doing this. I have to discard a card? Wait, did I just fuck up? I just fucked up. Uh, uh, wait, do I play... Yeah, I did. I just messed up. Damn it. <laughs> Everyone's upset. Everyone's so upset. Oh, the crowd goes mild. Oh, do another time, Steve. Are they conceding? Wait. I'm just lagging really badly. Yeah, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Unless I play like like four drops, stubborn denial, it's like whatever. Or like three drop with the four power, stubborn denial, It'd be insane. Actually insane. Yes, yes. FTK yourself, yes. Thunder Rick Regent, yes. What is this? What is this X spell? Will and Wander? Yeah, I love it. You got it. Absolutely. Shatterstorm. <laughs> you shut your mouth. First, that's not legal. Second, Keeping Corrosion is the card you're thinking about. It's Creeping Corrosion is what you're thinking about. All right, um, how much mana do I have? Four, I have six mana, so I can just do this. Tap. Um, draw a card. Six by glass. Ah. I'm just gonna draw five cards. 
Actually, you know what? I think the Witching Well is better. I think the well is actually better. Okay. Faith reward. Um. Um. I don't have a win condition yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it is. But I need mana. I need, like, mana. Okay, I have three more things to do. So I, just, I don't need all this. I, I don't need all this. She need to make land drops this for... Okay, that's a border post, so... Um, I still have six mana, right? We're doing it. Or I'm doing it. You guys are just watching. Um. I found a disciple of all. Uh, bottom, top, sure. Did I sack the wellspring? Oh, I didn't. I guess. Hmm. I don't need this. I don't. I think I need this. When I did, uh, whatever. Um, I think I didn't really need more cantrips at this point. Do another time save. Um. All right, here's the disciple. Okay, I think. How much mana do I have? Can I just do this twice? Oh, I only have six mana. Where all I hate how everything's like in random places. Oh, I have seven mana. Okay. Oh, I have to say always yes. Dang it. Always yes. Yes. Okay. I forgot to attack the bobble. I'll do that now. I forgot to attack the thieve, too. <laughs> I actually forgot to attack the thief too. Um Everyone calm down. Um I guess I could just like make another time sieve. That doesn't make any sense. I'm playing this so bad, by the way. I, I can literally do it whatever I feel like, yeah, it's true. It's actually true. Um. Okay, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Alright. We're doing it! We want a- I want a game! We want a game! We did it! Alright, stream over, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate- Appreciate all the support. See ya. Bye. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Keep playing. I know. Our combined efforts have made, really made this a thing. Our combined efforts have really helped out. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I need four spy classes. <laughs> if I got like two to for them, I don't think I need four of them. Oh man.
I'm just gonna play a bunch of shatters and hope it works out. Yeah, I could I could see that. I could play like I can honestly see myself playing like uh what is it? Prismatic lens. I would play prismatic lens, maybe over the prism, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of times you just cast a border post. That's true, too. Do I have to, like, bounce a land anyway? Or I use the sack a land or whatever. I think it's still on Prism. Yeah, I don't know. This is getting wild. I'm going to keep this hand. I mean... My opponent did anything for two turns, and then the third turn to play a, a three three mana do nothing, and then like, yeah, I think I think I'm I'm down with all the prisms. Like we can make some like other, we can make some final thoughts in a second. I don't know, we'll see. I, I can also get crushed and we have to continue I have to continue playing because the the bet was that they're gonna play turn two ascendancy. Oh knuckle blade? That's fine. Should I say Savage Knuckle Blade with the spyglass? Okay. Unfortunate, gonna hit a land. Oh, they're just holding... They're just holding stubs. This is going to get stubbed so hard. Watch. Okay, it didn't get stubbed. Um... That's a good point. I think everyone has a good point that I could just hard cast these posts. I kind of forget it has a casting cost. <laughs> What's... They're holding island! Oh my god. Whisperwood Elemental, really? Really? Not good. Oh, I have a shadow of this guy in my hand. They're going to stub that. Sorcerer Spyglass naming attacking. What? Naming attack. That doesn't work like that. Oh, I'm just dead on board. They have a Lumbering Falls. I didn't notice that. Okay. Freaking Stubborn Denial. Freaking Stubborn Denial. It's just really gonna grind my gears. I don't think Spyglass is gonna do anything. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I did miss like a land drop or two. Knuckle Pump, yeah. Everyone else bring it on. What else was I dead to? <laughs> I was dead to a lot, I guess. <laughs> oh, stray keep. This hand is gas. I'm gonna scry first, actually. I want to set up my draws a little bit. Witching Well is basically the the artifact version of Preordain. 
Almost. It's almost preordained. Yeah, I was super dead. This is basically preordained. Basically preordained. Okay. Um, I like all of this. Alright, good, good. I don't mind it, because, like, I don't know, I might need it at some point. Need a time save, yeah. I think I can never cut, like, trippy mages. As they just, like, make more time saves. Yeah, war could just went on its own, right? War is actually really good. Oh, big Nux. That can't be... Alright, we're gonna slam the Antiquities board here. Ooh, I, like, I like all of this. I think I'll take the Astrolabe to redraw. Also, it just kills my opponent. <laughs> it, kills, it finds more ar artifacts for the uh, the Nux. If they have a disenchant here, it's going to be really bad. Ooh, Shatter of the Sky. Ooh, Time Sieve. So, I'm not going to play the Time Sieve, I think. I actually, I kind of want to hold up mana for Second Sunrise or cat, uh, for Face Reward in case they like, kill my Antiquities War. That's my reasoning behind not playing this time save here. Play a shatter no. For I because I just explained why I want to keep all my mana up. Cause this thing's gonna win the game, so I need to bring it back at some point. Okay. Cause if what if they go like what if they go creeping corrosion? Then I just like they're oh they're conceding. They concede here. I don't know if they know how this thing, this card works. They're just letting me do it? How nice. Okay. We did- Finally! It happens! It finally happened. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> Bog would have been a huge beating. Ronald Joyce, you were here. You were here. It's a party going on right now. When did I drop that many frames? Holy moly. Good time. 
your body to do. Okay. All right. I think four Antiquities Wars. I'm not sure about Mirrored and Besiege. I think it's a bit slow. But Antiquities Wars, it feels like if I just like resolve one of these or Time see, I think I can win. I'm not, I'm not sold on the cycle either. I want something I can search with Tribute Mage. So Siege, you think it seemed okay? Maybe. The one time we drew it. I feel like when I was like drawing a lot of cards with Time Sieve, I had like <laughs> Yeah, I liked it because it was cheap. Cause like it's it's when you're like kinda going off, you have a little bit of amount of mana. And um it was good when you can go off. But I agree, Tickle Doors are really expensive. I like I like Crazy Bailout's point and like maybe playing like two mana mana rocks. I just don't know what to play. Right. I was gonna say that like the eight reward package was like a bit much, but it's probably necessary now. How do these old decks even win? I don't understand. I guess, like, the fact that Tether is a Seeker is, like, it's basically, I think the, the fact that Tether is a Seeker is mostly, like, part Chibi Mage, part Antiquities War. That's why the deck is so good. Is it crazy to think that Acre Wellspring might have to get cut? I don't know. Or maybe Witching Well? Witching Well is not bad. I think maybe I play, like, Max Bobble. Oops. I don't know. I think I wanted more Bobbles at some point. Well, I can play Bobbles. I kind of want, like, a second Bobble. It was, like, easy to sack with, like, Time C when you're going off. It gives you extra cards. I didn't think it was bad. Yeah. There's no other, like, cantrip that, like, draws cards like that as an artifact. I mean, there are, but a lot of them are way worse. Like, Elspore Flask and whatever. Those are cards that are way worse. Yeah, Bobble only would be going off, but I liked it when I was... I mean, I liked it when I was going off, clearly. Yeah. There, I guess. I wasn't really sold on the Mirror Besieged. I think it's a bit too slow for what I want to do. I actually think Sahili is probably better than Mirror and Besieged. Because we're, cause we're, I was using the Mirror part more. And with like, if I just play Sahili, then I can combo off Space Rewards too in Second Sunrise. They trigger off that. I don't think I need a billion Spy Glasses. A lot. It's kind of a lot of spy glasses. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put Sahili in this. Sahili's like double blue though. Sahili is actually like double blue. That's kind of hard. Thought they found. Thought they found. would have helped with that burn matchup, I guess. That was just unfortunate. Can we all agree that was really unfortunate? How much is Flash and Hulk in M2GO? A lot. Well, Hulk is... Actually, Flash is going down. Hulk... Protein Hulk is right now is legal. The Protein Hulk part is legal. Um, Flash is not legal. Let's see. He price Flash. I mean, some, some, some are going down. <laughs> Guess he is much different from Besieged. Yeah, Besieged might be just a harder Besieged to cast.
This was a fun thought experiment. Um, I don't think the deck is that bad now. I think I definitely wanted four of these. Tribute Mage was really good. Disciple undecided. But, I mean, where we started versus where we ended was really good. <laughs> I think we started throwing out a lot of cards. That was a fun little thought experiment. It might even be YouTube worthy. Because I need a YouTube video. Expanses? Maybe. But, like I said, I didn't have trouble, trouble, like, casting cards. Like, the worst thing I would... When, I'm, when I was already going off the one time... Um... I think when I was going off the one time, it didn't feel like I was... I didn't need, like, filter lands, I guess. I don't know. I think it was necessary. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I had very little trouble casting a Time Sieve. Between, like, Astrolabe, Prism, and the, the blue-black border post. I mean, yeah, that's fair. The, pro the other thing is that, excuse me, all the uh, all the border posts make blue, so I can even, like, cut a blue. I can even, I probably just cut an island for another planes. I don't know if that's really a big deal. So it's like I have a I have a ton of blue sources. I really wanted white sources. Like in in the end of the game, I wanted like double white. I just wanted all white sources. Like, like to me, I, I only like it in the beginning of the game. But, like, towards the middle of the end. Like, every turn I want to cast something. Like, whether it's, like, a border post or, like, a two-drop or something to find a two-drop. I feel like every turn I want to be casting something. And I kind of agree that, like, having, a, having like, a tap land is, like, not great. Because this deck requires a, a, a massive amount of setup. <laughs> like, you need, like, five artifacts in play for time seep. I guess what I'm trying to really say is my feeble brain can't handle it. Like, I don't know how many non-white... Like, if I play four of these, and then, like, play, like, a swamp or something. You made one too many E's. And Holy Day is legal. Pretty sure Holy Day is legal. There are turbo fog lists. Okay, um... I actually put this on YouTube. It was kind of randomly fun and interesting to try because I don't really do like live deck decks. I I I I don't. What was the word I want to use? I don't think you're wrong because I think aggro decks are really hard. Like old time Steve decks played like Angel Song and stuff like that, and like other Fogs. I don't think you're wrong on that. The problem is like I just don't know where to shove it. Glass casket. Glass casket, not bad. There's also Dawn Charm. Which also does something random, isn't it? Counter target spell to target to you. Dawn Charm counters to him. Dawn Charm target or counters Esper Charm. I could trim two lands. I could trim two lands. Even like the standard ones played like 16 basics with like eight border posts and like I think they played like four prisms. Yeah, 
Yeah, it kind of depends on what they're eating, right? Isn't it like a journey to nowhere? I don't know how Glass Castle works. Two, true. Okay. So it, it's kind of like a journey to nowhere, but worse. You also made like mortar pods and random stuff. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Unless it's like a, f a, a mesmeric fiend under it. <laughs> and then I don't want to get mesmeric fiended, right? Yeah, I think, you know me, I played many Chibi Mage decks. In fact, I'm probably, wait, wait for it. Wait for the, wait for the self-satisfaction. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, I'm the only person ever to win anything with Chibi Mage. What season was this? It was season 15, of course. The season of blue mid-range decks. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this deck. I I was playing Trip News, man. Trip News! No, I don't really care. I was just saying. I'm just kind of muting. Trip News, man. Trip News. Look at all these gate decks I beat. I beat so many gate decks. That was great. I, I played Mask of Riddles and Trip Noose. Because the real idea of the deck was just to play Nightmare Predator with Mask of Riddles. To show it. But like, that deck was great. And then you just, if you just combo Nightmare Predator with Mask of Riddles and you had a Forbid, you just win the game. That's great. It's awesome. <laughs> Black Lances, why not? I don't know. A lot of why nots in this deck. I had a real hand on that format that season. I had a real hand on that season. I don't know what happened to me now. Because now I'm here. I'm just here looking at Time Thief. <laughs> All right. That's going to end it. Thanks for watching. If you're on to YouTube, you should subscribe to YouTube. Just hit, hit the button. <laughs> um, Follow the Twitch. Twitch. Go ahead and follow Twitch links below or wherever you're at. Or just hit the follow button. It's pretty great. Thanks for watching. I might stream tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it was fun. Fun times. Fun times working on the time sweep deck. Didn't do too well in the tournament. But we'll try to get more serious time later. But I'll probably try to play tomorrow. But if I don't play, then... I don't know. Hope you have fun. Time sweep is fun. Time sweep real fun. Thanks for watching.